We've been here 42 years. We've never had this problem before. The troops are coming in from this alfalfa field. These creepy, crawly critters are called army worms. Check out this infestation all over the wall, or this. It looks like a snake pit. The scientific name is Spadoptera, but everybody calls them army worms, and you can tell because of the spots that you see right there. And also, they all come in droves. Millions of army worms are migrating by the hour. So, Mr. Gray, how do you feel about these army worms that are slowly getting here? Well, we're, we're very concerned about it, and, and we've been notified that there's a chance of army worms headed our way, so we've been in the process of clearing this land off because they eat uh, trees and branches and leaves, so on and so forth. They have been known to attack humans, so, so we're a little concerned about it. So what should we do if we see them? Just run. Stay away from them. They're very, they're fleshy. It's, it's a horrible situation. I've seen what army worms can do. We don't want any part of it. Okay, so is the school taking any precautions? Like, what if they get on the campus? Uh, well, we're trying to keep them from getting to the campus. As you can see, we're burning this stuff off right here to, to keep them at bay from the elementary. Uh, we're certainly concerned about our young kids. Uh, burned off the land over here by the, uh, the high school. So we're taking those precautions. We've uh, contacted Texas Parks and Wildlife to see what they can do. Uh, we're doing some fumigating, all sorts of things, but without a doubt, they're on the way. Is there any way we can kill them? Uh, short of nuclear, I doubt it. All right, so, well, just all it's, right, kind of. Yeah, it's a scary thought, it's a scary thought, you know, so so we're trying to prepare and, and, uh, and keep them at bay from the elementary. Hopefully they won't get to the high school, but uh, it'll be a bad situation for sure. Do you think we're gonna make it? We're going to try. You know, our thoughts here at Union Grove ISD is safety of our students first. So we're going to pull out all stops, whatever we need to do. We'll call in the army if we have to. And you expect this to happen it, shortly, within the next within the next day or so. So uh, we are in uh, DEFCON three, hurrying up, trying to get prepared. Okay, now we're going to have Mr. Adway, who's had firsthand experience of the dangers of these armor arms. Mr. Adway, it's good to see you, Robert. So what can we come to expect from these things? Are we already under attack by these army women? Well, they've been having preventive measures like the cross with the burning, so I've heard. And well, they're, they're evil. They're called army worms for two reasons. One, they're green, kind of like our army uniform. Yes, sir. And they have a rank and file like our military generals and lieutenant colonels and stuff. And like the fire ants. It's got their queen, your yeah. bee's got a queen. Well, they're organized like that. And if you ever let them get in your yard or your pasture, they will mow your grass down, literally. And when you go out there to mow the stems that's left over, the stalks, and you start squishing them, and they're stinking, and the guts are going everywhere, then they they get their rank and file going, they get organized, and they come after you. They'll climb up your lawnmower tires, they'll climb up your ankles, and they'll attack you. So is there anything that evil. we can do to like stop them, or is, are we just kind of hopeless right now? No, if they're here, it's hopeless. All you can do, it's like when the grasshopper plague would come through and they'd, they'd wipe out all the crops and they're gone. You couldn't stop them. Well, you can't stop these army worms once they get in. Make them angry, but until they have their way and get full of their grass, nothing to do. So all we can do is run away? Um, <laughs> that or stay out of your yard. Yeah. So, so I've been told there's like a time frame on like They're probably going to be here tomorrow. Is there anything that we're going to have to do? Any precautions? I would uh, stay out of the yard. If they're here that quick, they're in the grass, stay inside. So any like form of concrete is safe? Yeah, we get inside and close the door. All right. Well, thank you very much. Sir. All right. My pleasure.